morning guys, Jerry here. I'm in San Diego. Beautiful morning. It's probably 6 in the morning, really 9 o'clock in Toronto, so obviously the time change. Um, but I'm taking this opportunity to run some stairs. If you look at the stairs here, this is an awesome staircase. And when you have a staircase like that, you can't pass up this opportunity. So, uh, I'm going to run some stairs. I'm actually going to warm up first. I'm going to run some stairs and I'll pop back on and we'll, uh, we'll have a little talk. Alright, see you soon. Okay, one set done. It's a pretty high staircase. Good times. We did every other step. Really cranking up the quads and the glutes. And just want to give you a little view here of the bay in San Diego here. Beautiful. Absolutely awesome with the palm trees. Good times on the sunrise, the marina. So, you know, when people ask me, like, what do I like doing for my workouts, or where do I like doing my workouts? It's places like this. Every time I go to a new city, I try to go for a run, I try to do a workout outdoors so I can experience what the city's all about. So, we're walking a recovery back to the stairs. We'll head up another stairs here. Here's a quick look down, looking at the fun times ahead. So one set, I'm gonna go alternate stairs, hitting the quads and glutes. Okay, two sets down. We'll be doing, going up the stairs on every other step to get a little more distance between each stair. Now I'm gonna switch it up, I'm gonna do every step. We're works a lot more on foot speed, quickness, and it's gonna tire the heck out of those muscles and the calves and the quads a lot more as well. I'm also gonna be doing alternating lateral uh, stairs. So, one time moving up laterally right, next set of stairs laterally left, to change it up a little bit as well. It's all about having fun with this stuff. So I'm going to do about six, maybe eight sets. We'll see how the legs feel and then we'll call it a morning. So I'll pop back in at the end of the workout. I'm going to get into my zone and we'll speak to you in Okay, second. so I've done about four sets on the other set of stairs to the front of the convention center that I showed you. My legs, my quads are really seized up. So, I'm not done yet though. We're gonna have some fun because every time I come to a new set of stairs, it's just another challenge. So, what we're gonna finish off with, though, we're gonna finish our workout with two sets here. So, one set is gonna be down and up the other side. Here's what it looks like. So, these sets of stairs are very steep. So, I'm gonna hit doubles, meaning I'm gonna hit alternating stairs. I'm gonna lengthen the stride a little bit. So, what I'm gonna do is one set is gonna be down and up the other side, and then we'll finish off with one more set up and down the other side as well. So very little rest here. Finish off the legs and then we'll finish off with a cool down and we'll talk a little bit, about, about, a little bit more about this type of training when I'm done, all right, when I get my thoughts together. I'll speak to you in a second. Okay, so I lied. I'm gonna do one more set. This feels so good. Amy's got the camera in this one. So you actually get to see me doing the stairs here. The key, guys, is even if you're tired, is trying to do each step as explosively as you can. So I'm gonna go down, up, and back, Let's see how it goes. My legs are on fire. Fire department. Can't even talk. The fire department's on its way. I'll speak to you in a second. I'll we'll see you, buddy. Alright, yeah. let's go look at Oscar. Hi, buddy. Was that fun? Did you watch Daddy run and kill himself? Yeah? <laughs> hey guys, one thing I forgot to mention uh, with the stairs, you're gonna find that no matter how fit you are, no matter what kind of training you've done, you're still gonna find stairs tough. So even if you've done a lot of hill work, you're still gonna find stairs challenging because it's a new or a novel way of training your body. So that's fine, that's good because it's all about specificity, right? So if you're used to training stairs, stairs will be easier for you. If you're not, they'll be tougher initially. Your body will get used to it. That's the same with anything else. If you're not used to running hills, you do hills the first time, it's gonna be challenging, you'll have soreness. If you're not used to lifting weights, you lift weights, you're gonna have some soreness, it's gonna be tough. 
the body adapts, it'll get over that. So just remember that when you're doing stairs or any other type of training, it's all about specificity. And that's why I'm a big fan of changing things up to give your body different ways of adapting and different stimuli to help you get fitter, stronger, and obviously burn more fat. Yeah, so I uh, finished the stair workout. As you can see, I'm a little bit sweaty, which is good. Uh, talk about a couple things here. First thing is uh, the warm up. Very important to warm up before you do any kind of stair or really any kind of workout, uh, especially with stairs because you're really, it is a strength workout in and of itself. You'll feel this in the muscles of the legs big time, as well as the lungs and heart. So warm up properly, light cardio warm up, followed by some dynamic movements, some lunge walks, you know, some skipping just to get the calves going. That's the first step. Then you can do your workout. And as I mentioned earlier, the key with the stairs, no matter if you're doing a single step or double step, is to go as fast as you possibly can. That is where you get maximum benefit. If you're an athlete, you'll get huge benefits to power and speed. And if you're an average individual who wants to burn more calories, uh, the faster you can work, the more calories you're going to burn. So that's really important. So everyone's speed is different. Just work at you know what your maximum is. The third thing is uh, the cool down, right? So obviously now my legs, it's actually tough to walk downstairs because they feel like they're going to seize up and just snap. So that's why you want to cool down after a workout. Light jog, continue to walk it out. I don't have any water on me, but if I did, I'd be chugging it back right now. We actually got some coconut water as well yesterday. <laughs> That's Oscar. So I'll be, uh, I'll be chugging back some coconut water because very, very good source of electrolytes to replenish all the sweat that I've just lost. So that's the kind of the three-step process to any kind of workout, you know, as you know. And, uh, and that's the key, guys. So it's a nice, beautiful morning in San Diego. I'm going to tune out for now, finish my cool down, go for a little walk, and then uh, we'll get the day started.